Hey guys, how's it going? Shin Bob here, and today I just wanted to go over some quick tips for those of you who wanted to get ready for the raid and trials ASAP. Now, no matter which one you're most excited for, these tips will essentially be the same for both trials and the raid. Um, basically, because the aim of the game here is just to get the highest light level possible for each activity. So obviously the first thing you want to try and do is get to the maximum level possible because um, this will allow you to start increasing your light level past what is available to those who aren't max level yet. Now for those of you who don't know, there's a normal leveling system in Destiny that is increased like any other game through killing, doing quests, things like that. Then when you hit max level in this, you start to worry about your light level. And the best way to think of this is just as gear score. That's really all it is. So we've hit max level in the normal leveling system on a character. Now we want to try and get a nice high light level for the raid and or trials. First off, until we know the recommended light level for the raid, don't bother trying to level every piece of gear or weapon that you get. What I mean by this is don't feel like you need to worry about getting up every perk on every weapon or piece of armor that you get um, because it'll most likely just get replaced and hopefully get replaced by something with a higher light level very quickly. Especially before you've even reached max light level, don't bother at all. Um, this will just chew up some of your resources and you'll be chewing through your gear so fast while you're leveling that you probably won't even have enough time to uh, unlock all the perks on weapons and gear. So yeah, just don't worry about that at all, especially on like blue items and stuff, just, just a waste. I also didn't mention this at the start of the video because I would hope it's kind of assumed, but obviously you need to just stick with one character. Um, pick it early and play something that you think will be fun um, you can always level up something that you think is like the meta and better later on but just focus on one character to start off with and that way you won't be behind all the other people who are just leveling a single character because if you're focusing on two or three characters to get them to max level then all the people that are just doing one character are going to be there already and just worrying about their light level so just stick to one for now and yeah. So you've hit max light level now and there's still a few days until the raid comes out. What are we going to do? First off, I believe the Nightfall is available at launch, so my advice would be to get this done ASAP before the raid drops. Um, essentially what the Nightfall is, is just a more difficult strike that drops some like high level rewards once per week per character. So do that with your highest light level gear on and just pray to Iron Jesus that you get a decent drop. And after that, you'll most likely just be needing to grind the activity that you like doing the most and think that you can do the quickest. That'll either be strikes for PvE or just your favorite mode of PvP. Personally, I'd recommend grinding strikes as there is probably a higher chance of getting drops, especially earlier on after you've just hit max level. You may find that you even get some nice drops from some of the ads or some of the bosses um, that aren't just from the end of activity reward screen. And this is the only real way that you'll get rewards from PvP is after the match. So there's probably a slightly higher chance of getting stuff in PvE if you want a min-max like that. Also, people tend to find the fastest way to do strikes pretty early on in this game. So whether that be due to the fact that they run it so many times and they just know the best way to do it, or they find a way to cheese it. Um, either way, strikes are generally a more reliable and consistent way to get gear, I would say. Sometimes I just find PvP matches can be a little bit too unpredictable just depending on how the teams are balanced and whether or not you're able to beat the enemy team quickly or whether you have to take the entire like match time limit uh, to get the win. And if you are taking the entire match to get the the win or the loss um, then it's probably more efficient to do strikes now this is 100% my opinion and as someone who loves PvP more than PvE I would still have to recommend uh, the PvE strike style for leveling up your light quickly and lastly for that last little push to get ready for trials for those of you who really want to sort of min max things since trials comes out a couple of days after the raid I would recommend putting your highest light level gear on and then doing the raid. This will just give yourself the best chance of getting the highest light level gear to drop and therefore pushing your light level as high as it can be for the release of trials. Obviously, the best gear will be in the raid and doing the raid with the highest light level gear on will, you know, increase your chances of getting better gear. So that's the logic behind this. And I guess it's just another little incentive to be ready for the raid when it releases as well. So just as a disclaimer at the end here, don't feel like it's a race and that you have to be like the first to max level and the first to clear the raid. Um, I know I probably won't be getting the raid done on the day it comes out, that's for sure. I mean, I have other things to do, I have jobs and things like that. So yeah, I'll just be aiming to do it as soon as I can. Um, just go at your own pace and remember to enjoy the experience. I mean, I know a lot of people say this, but it is just a game after all. And it's not often that you get fresh experiences like at the start of a release of a new game like this um, all too often. So Make the most of it and I can't wait to see some of you guys in trials and maybe the raid. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. It's really appreciated. Um, even subscribe for more content like this. 
And until next time, just keep doing what you're doing, guys. Cheers.